Hey everybody, hope you're all well out there. Uh, this is quite an exciting milestone video really. This is the first of three videos that I'm doing this week. That's right, three videos in a week. I've been busy uh, and I've been busy thanks to the uh, guys over at the Patreon community who've um, uh, paid their hard-earned dollars to, uh, to support what I do. Um, so I cannot thank them enough. Um, this one in particular is for Brian Madden, who's I know been um, with the channel for a long time, commenting and suggesting things. Uh, so Brian wanted uh, Red Mosquito, uh, and I'm doing the whole thing, the whole shebang. So we're gonna be doing uh, Stones Parts, I'll do those first, and then we're gonna look at Mike Solo. Um, so you are gonna need one of these, a slide for those. You don't have to, um, if you want it to sound as authentic uh, as Mike's part, then you will need one. Uh, but you can play it without if you don't have one, uh, or get a beer bottle or something like that. You know, if you're if you're that cool, uh, I am one of the world's worst slide players, so I'll try not to fluff it up too much. Um, I only bought this, in fact, so I could play deep. Uh, so this is the second tune that I have learnt uh, on slide. So, so as I say, thank you, Brian. This one's for you. I hope you enjoy it, and um, I do appreciate all the comments and support that you give me over on the Patreon channel. So, on with the show. Stone's tone in this is um, bridge pickup, humbucker, light amount of overdrive. Um, so if you've got a distor only got a distortion pedal, crank the gain right down on that. Um, you want it to sound a bit like this. One other thing to note about this tune is it's in 6-8, so you're counting 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2 through the tune. So let me play the first riff through and then we shall break it down. One, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> That is the first riff. Okay, starts off with a partial D chords like this. Okay, and then you're gonna play a uh, pull off from the third fret on the D string to open. But it's a real passing note, so it's more um, a passing note on the way to going to the C note, and you take your other your first finger off. So the ne the um, kind of second main chord is is a C chord. So that slowly sounds like this. Okay, it's played really loosely, so don't worry too much. Um, your uh, E string should be kind of muted by a little bit of meat off the third, um, uh, third finger on the B string. So, okay, and then from there, you go to a G and then back to the D. Okay, so the whole thing slowly is this. That's about it, that's about all there is to, to tell you about that really. Um, I think when he goes to the D, he's strumming this kind of pattern. Okay, so... You can do what you like there, pretty much. Okay, so let's play the verse riff in its entirety. One, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, and then you're back into the... So that slowly is just a, the partial D chord to a partial F chord. Then a partial D chord to, to a C. Then exactly the same D to F. 
And then the next D, rather than going straight to the C, he's, um, Stone's actually playing part of that C chord to do this little run, so it goes... <laughs> which is part of the C chord. Okay, so he just lets those ring out. Then back into the main riff. Okay, and the chorus section is pretty straightforward. Um, it's arpeggiated chords, so you're going to be playing F to C. Then you're going to play a D sharp or E flat to an A sharp or B flat. Then a C. And then there's a little run up that goes. Okay, the second time round there is a subtle difference when it comes to the C. Rather than playing. He plays this. Let me play that through with the arpeggiation. One, two, three, two, two, three. To that other riff with some more mic soloage that's to come lots of that to come actually um, so pretty straightforward um, you're just literally arpeggiating the patterns the same all the way through okay so you play the exact same picking pattern across those uh, four chords and then you're going to go to the C with two fills. First one. Now that this bit, I think that's what he plays because I see him playing that amount of tap times with his right hand live. Um, he might just be playing. That would work too. But I think he plays one, two, three. Again, it's played very loose, so you can get away with either or just your call. Uh, okay, I think that is it for Stone's part. And then we are into Mike's solo. So bear with me while I remember how it's played. Okay, over to Mike's part. Uh, Mike's using a bit more distortion, so I am actually using a little distortion pedal uh, with my tumness just to beef it up a bit. I'm going to be playing on the neck pickup. Again, I've seen him play this with uh, guitars with humbuckers in. Uh, with his Les Paul stuff like that. So um, I think this will get you there. Um, and it sounds like this. Almost fuzzy sounding. Uh, so that's the tone that I'm going to be using. Now, one of these bad boys, he um, puts it on his uh, little finger. You can get ones that um, allow you to bend your finger slightly. If you haven't got one yet then buy one of those um, this one's okay but I find that um, I hit the fretboard sometimes with it and it when I'm trying to play because you've only got three fingers to play with it's a bit tricky okay so for Mike's parts I'm going to run through them with my headphones on so excuse the headwear uh, but I'm going to be dipping in and out of it uh, because I haven't learned the whole thing and otherwise this video won't get done on time and we can't have that. Um, my wife has been very kind to give me like an hour and a half away from the kids to do this video so uh, I need to uh, crack on with it before um, I get called downstairs. So I can't play through the entirety of this, I'll play it through in chunks. Hopefully that's good enough though and you'll be able to hear how they sound to tempo and then slowly. All right, let's do this. Boom, the cans are on. Okay, so Starting off with the first one, it's basically this, so it's one, two, three, one. That's the first phrase, and that is played with a slide, so it's 
10th fret on the uh, G string down to, and then you're going to play the 12th fret on the uh, D string so it's like this <laughs> I generally tend to kind of mute the string uh, with my finger when I'm moving to the next one because otherwise it sounds like this. It becomes two notes, not one. Okay, so that slowly is a slide. So it's on the it starts on the second beat. So one, two, three, one for two beats, and then you're going to play. And the next bit goes. Okay, I think Mike might play a lot more of this on the slide. Um, if you can do that, then awesome. But some parts I, I can't play on the slide at all. So if you can manage it, then awesome. So that slowly is. Okay, next riff goes. Okay, that's nice and easy, so it's just a bend on the 12th fret, 10th, 10th, uh, 13, 10 on the B string, and that's on the G string, that bend on the 12th fret, the pull off, and then there's a bend that goes full bend. Very Jimi Hendrix. So, so far we have. And the next um, phrase starts on the second uh, beat again, so it's. And then there's a run up which starts on the slide, 10th to uh, 12th on the A string. Then I think he goes to his fingers for the 10-12 uh, on the D string and the 10-12 on the G string. Like that. Okay, and there's a bend after this. So that's the last bit. Uh, and then you're into the vis. Okay, so let me try and play that through all together to see if I don't muck it up. One, two, three, one. <laughs> Okay, that's the first chunk. Second chunk is one, two, three, one. Okay, so I'm fully anticipating a load of people going, you suck, you suck at playing slide, which is fair enough. I do. Next riff goes like this. Okay, so um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just playing it horribly. Without the slide, it sounds like this. Okay, which is, I know, a lot better than my slide play. Okay, let's try it with the slide anyway. Let's try it with the slide anyway. Okay, here we go. Um, slowly. Okay, 12. 12, 12, 12. 10, 12. Uh, on the D string. Okay, then this little run. So there's a, um, a rest, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 1. Which is this. Cool, and then you're into the chorus. Um, so if you want to play similar to what he's playing on the records, which is played with an acoustic, um, then you can just play these chords. And then you're going to play a um, D sharp power chord. 
around there, or you can play these three notes here. Up to you. So when Stone's playing this bit, or uh, Mike is playing this fill, it's the sixth fret down to the fifth. Okay, that sounds maybe like it. Or so the next slidey bit goes like this. And then he does a Okay, the first part. And then to play this bit. Tricky, but let's try it. I told you I wasn't going to slide. Here we go. <laughs> That's about as good as I can get it. Um, what I'm playing there is I'm basically uh, I'm moving this back to the tenth fret as quick as I can to play. A bit like this. The slide. Next riff goes like this. Okay, the next bit goes like this. Okay, straightforward enough. It's just the uh, tenth fret, twelfth fret uh, on the D and the G string. Okay. Try and play it through. <laughs> Roughly, um, that's pretty shocking, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, towards the end of the second chorus, Mike is arpeggiating these chords. So think of them like these power chords. <laughs> Uh, and he, he's either playing them like this, but he's more than likely playing them with the slide, so we can do that too. Okay, so either way we'll do. Chord, you're going to move up to the C. Okay, he plays these fills again. And then the second time he goes. Okay, uh, which is just the 6 5 to the 8th fret uh, on the B string. Okay, so the um, solo kind of fades in with, the, with this. Okay, so that's the first part. We can hardly hear it though. First section. The main bit is this. Uh, which with the slide is. Then there's this pretty fast run which goes. And that is. I don't think that is 100% accurate, but I'll have to revisit that one. But for now, you can just play one, two, three, one. And then there's this rundown, which goes like this. And you might play this with the, with the, uh, with the old slide as well. Um, I'm not going to attempt to do that, because I'll be here all night. And it's, uh, it's already getting dark. So, let me just run through the notes for you so you have them, okay? Okay, so that again. Next 
next, but it goes like this. Okay, so again. That slowly is a bend. And then almost a repeat of the phrase before it, and then another. But it's just one of those, so it's. Try and play it on the slide. Okay, the next fill is this. Slowly again. This final slide part goes. Okay, so that all the way through is. Then in the outro riff, you're going to hear this played. Okay, but with the slide, again, bear with me, sounds like this. Okay, so 10, 12, 13. That's the ninth fret. Next bit is. Whew, and there we are. That is it. Good grief. That was tough. I am, um, as you can tell, I'm, I don't know my way around one of these. Um, if that wasn't already obvious. Okay, so that's quite enough from me. Uh, thank you, Brian, for the slide workout. Uh, and again, thank you, thank you, mate, for um, your support and your subscription to the Let's Play All course. Uh, hopefully see some more of you over there soon. All right, take care then, and uh, until the next time. Cheerio, bye.